Who do you like? Who do you trust? Right? Who are going to take care of your right. clients? Just like if you recommend a painter to your buyer mm-hmm. or to your seller, and it, it, if it's a bad experience, it's going to be a direct reflection on you because you referred them. So same same right. concept. I mean, literally, I got a call today from someone from North Carolina that I have a good relationship with, and he's got a client looking to move this way. And and again, if you yeah. if you stay top of mind awareness. And you have a servant yeah. heart, and, and, and you bring value to other agents' relationships, uh, then naturally you'll be top of mind awareness when they have a, a referral in that given marketplace. Yes. Yeah. And, and again, you hit the nail on the head. Top of mind awareness and recognition. That, to me, is the most important thing that, that anybody needs to focus on. And how do you create top of mind awareness? and recognition. I mean, obviously it it is going the extra Mm -hmm. mile. It's adding Mm -hmm. value. It's leaving a mark, leaving an impression, you know, and and a positive impression. One that I like to call, um, um, you know, it's not enough really to have a customer that's happy with you at closing. And I tell my team this all the time, you know, what you want to create are raving fans, you know, raving fans are going to talk about you to everyone that they know unsolicited, Mm -hmm. you know, a good experience Mm -hmm. in a dialogue that may come up about real estate, you know, oh, well, we had a good experience with so-and-so or, you know, what have you. And that's all well and good. But what you want are raving fans, you know, those are the uh, uh, sneezers, so to speak, you know, that are Mm going to talk unsolicited and really generate, you know, tell everyone that they know. And, you know, that's what, that's what you're looking for. 